Hey guys, welcome to the Info Channels. I am Ranga. Today in this video, I want to talk about the hospital security guard duty and their responsibility. This course is brought by the www.securityguardexam.com. You can visit our website and get more information regarding this video. You will not only learn the hospital security guard duty and responsibility, we will talk about the general operation of the security procedure in the hospital. Threat in the hospital Fire Breach of the information security and patient confidentiality Okay, the security guard are responsible to protect the information, the classified information of the hospital and should protect the confidentiality or the classified information about the patient to the public. The information security also include the network hacking. Number three Theft of medical supply and equipment. Abduction of children and baby. Sabotage of life support equipment. Contamination of flood or water supply. Okay, just before we talk about the safety threat to the hospital, and now we talk about the safety hazard in the hospital. Okay, the first one is physical hazards, such as slip and fall. Traffic accident in the loading and unloading area, compressed or flammable gases and liquid, X ray exposure, electrical wiring and outlets, patient or visitor violence. Number two, mental illness. It's also a safety hazard in the hospital. Substance abuse, a person influenced under the drugs or alcohol, and stress and worry. The people who admitted to the hospital, they always feel stress and they are worried about their life. Biological hazard Use needles, surgical equipment, blood and saliva, infection disease, disease persons, medical waste, uh, for example, bandage, soil bedding, allergy, powder line latex gloves, Pollen from flower. Okay, these are the biological hazard. Chemical hazard in the hospital. Mercury spell from the damaged medical devices. Portable blood pressure reader such as thermometers and cleaning materials. And psychological hazards. Stress, fatigue and burnout. Okay, these are the safety hazard in the hospital. The first one is psychological hazard, second mental illness, fourth biological hazard, fourth chemical hazard, and five psychological hazard. The sentry in the hospital. Sentry means the locations where the security guard they perform the duty. Okay. Number one, parking and traffic area. The security guard they perform their duty. Number two, public gathering area. Number three, security sensitive location. Some locations are very sensitive in the hospital and the security guard, they sentry uh, in that location. Number four, elevator. The elevator also controlled by the security guard. It depends on the hospital procedure. Number five, security staff on duty in the specific area. Number six, incident reporting and resolution. Number seven, crowd control. Number eight, entry and exit control. Number nine, investigation. The hospital incident management system. The security guard in the hospital, they perform duty in the various locations and the duty can be vary depending on the specific locations. Okay, here we know parking and traffic area, the security guard will perform duty, public gathering area, such as canteen, toilet, and the, the where the public they can uh, gather. And security sensitive locations, some locations are very sensitive. Also, security guard will take responsibility to protect that location. Elevator can be controlled by the security guard. And security staff on duty in the other area. Some temporarily, they can work in the other area, such as in the psychiatric ward or the ward where the VIP people or the criminal, they come to uh, treat there. Okay, incident reporting and resolutions also a security guard duty crowd control 
and entry and exit control investigations if any incident happen and the work in the hospital incident management system okay. these are the sentry in the hospital where security guard perform their duty okay now let's talk about the standard incident code in the hospital okay the hospital also implement the standard code okay if there is an incident happen and the message will go through a specific code or code is designed in the hospital and the all the hospital staff as well as the security guard also know about this code okay pink pink code is unresponsive child or infant medical emergency okay if anybody pass the message there is a pink means you have to understand the unresponsive child or infant medical emergency red means fire and smoke silver weapon hostage situation white violent person yellow missing adult amber missing infant or child black bomb threat or suspect object blue unresponsive adult medical emergency brown hazardous material spell gold utility or it fail green internal disaster gray severe weather orange external disaster these are the code which designed to pass the informations and not everybody will understand this code only the hospital staff and the security staff will know this if anybody tell you there is a silver means you have to take note that there is a weapon or hostage situation in a particular location commonly used word in the hospital to empathy okay when the people they come to the hospital they always uh, they worry and if they are not satisfied with the service of the hospital they upset okay the commonly used word in the hospital to empathy or upset persons is hot okay this heart is known by the doctor and heart this word used by the other medical staff as well as security guard also uh, and you must learn it if there is any person is upset of the hospital uh, system or the services you have to use this word heart as means hear the story first hear the person's story e empathize with them a apologize for the fact they are upset why they are upset you, you can apologize r respond with a suitable resolution option and t thank for their time and cooperation okay if anybody upset and they complain about the hospital you have to use the hard word that is hear first their story empathize with them emphasize means put empathy on them and A means apologize for the fact and respond with the suitable resolution and thank them for their time and cooperation. Okay, this is the most commonly used word in the hospital. Level of access in the hospital. There are three mm, zones of the hospital security. And the first zone is public zone where the public can access, general public uh, can access there. Staff zone, only the hospital staff they can access number three high security zone not the hospital staff or the public can access only the authorized person can access the high security zone okay there are three type of access zone in this hospital one is public zone another is staff zone and high security zone duty of the hospital security guard okay what are the duty of the hospital security guard now we are come to the point Number one, patient and customer service. Number two, access control. Number three, traffic control. Number four, internal and external patrol. Number five, emergency response. Number six, physical intervention and public safety. Number seven, surveillance and investigation. Number eight, VIP scout and protection. Okay, these eight are the common duty of the hospital security guard serve the customer and the patients and the access should be controlled by the security guard traffic control in the parking area you should control the traffic internal and external patrol the security guard they always go for the round to inspect the equipment 
and to uh, detect the unusual activities okay emergency response if there is an emergency emergency can be a natural emergency or in emergency can be a man-made and the security guard are responsible to respond the emergency just as if there is a fire the security guard are responsible to um, evacuate the building or uh, take the decision as per the situation and the physical intervention or public safety okay if there is any uh, anybody is hurting someone it can be a person or some security guard has to physically intervene on that uh, incident okay surveillance and investigation okay the security guard they can use the uh, cctv to monitor the uh, persons or the public who access the um, area of the hospital and the investigate if there is any uh, issue or any incident the primary investigate can be done by the security guard and vip is caught and protection okay if there is a vip arrive and security guard also escort them and protect them until they are in the hospital okay thank you guys for watching the video at last i request you to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon like comment and share the video